March is Colon Cancer Awareness Month, and for people at average risk of colon cancer, either a colonoscopy mm -hmm. or a special test of your stool is recommended starting at age 45. It really is so, so important. You've probably seen the Cologuard commercials with that talking box or maybe the recent parody on Saturday Night Live. But the question is, what is really inside that box, yeah. right? So we're going to bring in Dr. Frank McGeorge. She's here with an unboxing that could truly help save your life. It really can, Pam and Karen. You know, the whole process is either funny or off-putting because, frankly, it involves the very uncommon act of mailing your poop in a box to a faraway lab. But as uncomfortable as it sounds, it could change your life. The Cologuard test does require a doctor's prescription. Once it's ordered, it'll be sent to you by UPS in a box exactly like this. And here's how easy it is to use. When you get your sample collection kit, you want to open the box carefully. Don't cut it because you're going to use this same box to send your sample back. Just tear here on this blue line. When you open it, you'll find instructions, a large collection container, a small sample container, a bottle with a preservative in it, and a bracket to hold the collection container in your toilet. Collecting the sample doesn't require anything special that you don't do naturally. And I'm not going to make you watch me, but here's the gist. The bracket holds the bucket in place for you to poop into. Boop. Once you've completed your business, this next step is the grossest part, I promise. You need to take this swab and dip it in the sample. Ow, ow. Until the grooves are covered, then stick it in the vial. Just pretend you're a scientist, and sometimes science is just gross. Then you add all of this preservative to your main sample and close it up. Now you put a completed label on the little vial and your main sample, and don't worry about covering up the sticker that is already on the vials. Now here's the step where the biggest mistake happens. You need to get this sample back to UPS today or tomorrow at the latest. And that means you need to have a plan before you collect your sample. Now you can take the box to UPS office or call UPS to set up a pickup. This box needs to get to the lab within four days from collection. As strange as it may look, the professionals that deliver these boxes with containers of poo do it on an impressive scale. And the process that follows is equally impressive. The unboxing is significantly automated, with robotic arms handling many of the steps, from securing the lids to moving the specimen into a centrifuge that spins it down, separating its components, and ultimately extracting the sample that's tested. Here's what the test is looking for. Inside your colon, cancer and precancerous polyps can grow silently, but as they grow, they shed tiny cells that can be found in your stool. These cells all have abnormal genetic code identifying them as cancer. Cologuard isolates and tests for this code, allowing cancer cells to be detected non-invasively. Of course, all of this happens behind the scenes, and all that really matters is, once you ship your box, in about two weeks, you'll get a call from your doctor with the results. Now for a quick disclaimer. Cologuard is indicated to screen adults of either sex 45 years or older who are at typical average risk for CRC. Cologuard is not a replacement for diagnostic colonoscopy or surveillance colonoscopy in high-risk individuals. People should talk with their doctors about what screening choice is best for them. Now, if you get a negative result, it means that no blood or cancer-related DNA was found in your stool, and it is very, very unlikely that you have cancer. Here's the thing, though. If your Cologuard is positive, it means you need more evaluation by your doctor. And to be clear, it does not mean you have cancer. This is only a screening test. In fact, Cologuard's data shows about 45% of people with a positive Cologuard were actually cancer-free when they had their follow-up colonoscopy. Mm, okay, so then obviously this is covered most of the time by yeah. insurance, but what if it is abnormal, and then what do you do about the colonoscopy then? Well, that's kind of an interesting point. So first of all, if you are of the screening age, the Cologuard test is actually covered in the vast majority of cases. Now, if your Cologuard is abnormal, the follow-up colonoscopy is also covered by most insurances. But if you have any questions, you should talk to your doctor or your insurance provider because there was actually a recent change in the Affordable Care Act mm -hmm. that required these be paid for if they are Affordable Care Act compliant. Okay. So there are a handful of insurance companies Companies that may not. All right, good to know. Good graphics in that story. You did it well there. Got my little poop emoji. <laughs>